Hello, everybody. My name is Jesse Mayfield Sheehan, and I am live here at Walter Brown Arena on the campus of Boston University in Boston, Massachusetts. I am here for a boys hockey high school game between the Brookline High School Warriors and the Braintree High School Womps. Bit of an interdivisional matchup between these two. Braintree coming out of Division One, and Brookline coming out of Division Two. The Warriors opened up their season two, uh, two days ago here at Walter Brown with a 5-2 win over Quincy. So good start to the season for Brookline. They'll be trying to follow it up today. Uh, quite the myriad of scoring from Brookline in that game. The first goal came on a breakaway by sophomore forward Grayson Badger. Badger was named as uh, one of the boys to watch in Eastern Massachusetts high school hockey by the Boston Globe a couple weeks ago prior to the season. He is considered a rising star on this young and growing Brookline team. Just for an example of the youth of this team, Brookline High has a total of five seniors on their roster. Just for a bit of comparison, Braintree has a total of 13 seniors on their roster. Among those seniors for Braintree are co-captain and defender Kyle Roach. Roach was also named by the Boston Globe as a player to watch for Division I, as he is a two-time Bay State Conference All-Star entering into the final season of his high school career. So plenty of interesting players to watch in this game between a young and growing Brookline team and a higher division opponent in the Braintree Womps. Brookline has uh, been improving over the past couple of years. Uh, according to MaxPreps.com, they finished with three wins two seasons ago and then doubled it to six wins last year. So a young team, a growing team, an underdog in many ways tonight against a more experienced and a higher division opponent in Braintree. But any coach of any building team will tell you that an opponent like this not only gives the young players a chance to hone their skills and build on their game, but also gives them a sight of what a more established program looks like as they aim to build their identity. So it should be a good one here regardless of the result, folks, so uh, stay tuned. I will be back soon with the starting lineup announcements and the start of today's game. I'm Jesse Mayfield Sheehan at Walter Brown Arena. Thank you for listening. Hello everyone, I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan, live again at Walter Brown Arena on the campus of Boston University in Boston, Massachusetts for an interdivisional hockey matchup between the Braintree High School Womps and the Brookline High School Warriors. And now they are announcing the starting lineup, so I will give it over to the PA announcer.
And that was the PA announcer announcing the starting lineups for the two teams, followed by the national anthem. We will soon be getting this game underway. Brookline High coming out of Division Two. Brain Tree High coming out of Division One. Brookline coming off a uh, pretty high-scoring season-opening win over Quincy High two days ago. 5-2 win on Thursday here at Walter Brown. And now we return here to the home of the uh, Boston University women's ice hockey team for the start of tonight's game, today's game, I should say. Getting ready for opening face-offs. For Braintree, it'll be Chris Sarno taking the face-off. And for Brookline, looks like it'll be number seven, Chris Hernandez. Here comes the puck drop. And scramble for the puck. It looks like it's controlled by Brookline. Passed along near side. They were aiming for Rohan Gervais. Uh, missed it. And now uh, for another loose puck in the center. Still fighting for the puck. Trying to get possession. And it looks like uh, Braintree is going to corral it. It's passed ahead to number nine. That is Tim McLaughlin. Or maybe that was 19. And Brookline takes control of it. They clear it up the ice. That was cleared ahead by number 18, I think, Jack O'Brien. No, excuse me. That was number 10, Jacob Garden. And now the puck goes down to the Brookline end, picked up by number 3, Eli Bach. But it's poked out by Sarno. Sarno set right to center one over to teammate Matthew Duane. No good. Now a fight for the puck in the corner. And it's almost corralled by Brookline's number nine, Ellis Bish. And now it's been cleared ahead. That is number 16, Timothy Aiden Shin. He taps it along to number nine, Ellis Bish. But nothing doing there. Now Braintree with the puck, number eight, takes a shot saved by Markman. That shot was taken by Nolan Leonard. Now Brookline attempting to get out of their own zone. Braintree sends it back inside, corralling around the boards. And it's picked up by, I believe, that's number 13, Zach Cohen. He sends it along to the back boards. Braintree trying to uh, clear it out. Still working on that. Alex Roach picks it up for Braintree. He continues to carry the puck. It's cross mid-ice, now inside the attack zone. Tries to do it by himself, but saved again by Gil Markman. Roach corrals it, tries to center it, but can't find the opening. Braintree still controlling it. That's number 18, Jason Curley, passed along to Roach. Tried to launch it inside, couldn't work. And now Brookline trying to bring it down. That is number 11, Colin Finnegan. He couldn't get through a couple of defenders. And now Braintree sends it once again down to the back. Markman corrals it. He tries to tap it along to number three, Eli Bach. He encounters some trouble, but gets out of it. Manages to just get the pass on ahead to number eight. That is Grayson Badger. Badger coming around the back. He's still got the puck. Passes it, tries to pass it back to a teammate, but goes behind the blue line. Badger passes it along to Bach. Bach sends it on ahead. Braintree corrals it, but then Brookline player gets onto it. He sends it around the boards, picked up by Braintree. Now a fight at uh, battle at mid-ice for the puck. Braintree controlling the puck now. That's number 25, but he gets battled by a couple of Brookline defenders. Launched towards the goal by number 18, Jason Curley from behind the blue line, but corralled by Markman. Brookline tried to push it ahead, but taken away again by Braintree. That's number three, Cam Mooney, who sends it on ahead. And Braintree's still on the attack, but it's corralled by Brookline. Lifted up on the pass, ahead to number 17, that's Emmett Tian. He tries to center it for Badger, but it's corralled by the Braintree goalie, Dylan Anderson. Number seven for Brookline, Chris Hernandez taking the face off. And 
Brookline controls the faceoff. Number 10, Jacob Gurdon, sends it inside, but it's corralled by Braintree, and they go on the attack again. Lost track of the puck after a pass was attempted for Curley. But he couldn't corral it. Now after a battle around the boards, Braintree still has control. Send it back. It goes to number three, Cam Mooney, who attempts a shot blocked by Markman. And now Hernandez has control of it. He tries to pass it on ahead to teammate Colin Finnegan. Finnegan tries to chase it down, but it's corralled by a Braintree defender. After a battle in the corner for the puck, it's picked up by Braintree. And they slow things down to try and reset. It is controlled by, I believe, Mooney. He's trying to look for an avenue around. He's chased by Badger. And now the puck winds up with number six for Braintree, Brendan Keegan. After he passed it away, another battle for the puck, and then it's picked up by Brookline. Now I believe that's Gurdon who's got the puck. Tries to clear it out after being pressed against the boards. Nothing doing. Puck goes back. It's controlled by Bach. Bach tries to battle around some defenders. No good, and it goes back, but Brookline remains in control. Number 20, Jasper Reed, passed it on ahead. It's now controlled by number 16, I believe. That's uh, Aiden Chin. And now Brookline clears the puck ahead. Picked up by Mooney. He passes it over to Dwayne. Dwayne tries to send it ahead, but some nice defense by Brookline, and they corral it. Brookline trying to clear the ice, but they can't do it. It's crowded by Roach. Roach still holding on to the puck, controlling it himself. He passes it on ahead to number eight, Nolan Leonard. Leonard tries to tap it over to 14, Owen Flynn, but they lose control. Brookline now trying to take control of it. Chasing it down at mid-ice, but Braintree once again corrals it. They send it on ahead. It's a battle for the puck between Dwayne of Braintree and I believe that is uh, number 13 of Brookline. Still in a battle as a couple more players join in, and eventually number 13, Zach Cohen, clears it out. Send it over to the opposite corner, another puck battle. Uh, Brookline managed to clear it away from the goalie. And now Brookline trying to corral it. That is number 17. He lost his glove. That's Emmett Tien. He sends it back. Uh, Gervais tried to launch it towards the net, but uh, floats it away. Brookline still in control. A uh, slap shot goes wide, and Braintree corrals it. Now it's picked up by uh, Brookline's number 11, Colin Finnegan. He tries to send one towards the net, redirected by Anderson, no good. Another battle along the boards for the puck. It's sent back behind the blue line by a Braintree player. Brookline trying to uh, launch it into the zone as they chase down the Braintree defender. I believe that was Roach that had the puck. He sends it on ahead. A couple players sent it ahead, and now we've got a one-on-one. -on -one. This is Braintree's number 23. That is Kyle Mahoney. He was going against Bach, and he can't get a shot off. Bach stood between him, and it looks like we might have like we got a call. And it looks like Brookline's number 20, Jasper Reed, is going to the penalty box for two minutes. So Braintree will get the first power play of the afternoon. As we again go for the faceoff for Braintree, it is once again Chris Sarno. And for Brookline, that's going to be number eight, Grayson Badger. Face off taken. Brookline controls it. They try and clear it out, but it's kept inside the attack zone by Braintree. Brookline player finds it in the corner, sends it on ahead, and Badger tries to clear it up ahead. Grabbed by Roach. Roach passes it over to Mooney. Mooney tried to control it, lost control. Brookline trying to push it ahead. That was Badger that manages to clear it. Braintree trying to restart on the attack. And 
I think that is Roach, who's passing it ahead to number 19, Brady Leslie, but lost control. And now Brookline with another successful clear. This one by number 13, Cohen. Braintree trying to reset once again. Just over a minute left on the power play. Braintree's number 12 tries to weave through, sends a shot saved by Markman. And that was Braintree's number 19, excuse me. That was Leslie, who tried to weave through a couple of defenders. Send one in from just outside the slot, but another save by Gil Markman. They set for another faceoff. Brookline controls faceoff again, but the defender lost it. So now Braintree picks it up. Pass back out to Mooney. Mooney looks for number eight, who passed it to 14. Tried to center it for number seven, Dwayne, but he couldn't corral it. And instead, it's cleared by Brookline. Bit of a lucky break for Brookline. Braintree had a good look there, as now they try and reset the attack with 40 seconds left on the power play. Roach bringing it across the blue, the blue line. And he brings it around the back. Still looking for someone to pass to. He passes it over to number eight, Leonard, who tries to send a pass inside, but it loses, uh, loses track of the players. Mooney sends it back after growling it. He sends it back to Roach. Roach sends it back over to Mooney. Mooney looking uh, for number 14, Owen Flynn. He gets it, passes it back to Leonard. Now back to Roach. Roach puts a shot, it goes wide. Mooney with the rebound, he sends it inside to Leonard. And that's back to Owen Flynn. Off the pass from, excuse me, Matthew Dwayne. Matthew Dwayne got the puck behind the net. He sent it through to Matthew Dwayne in the slot. And uh, no, Dwayne sent it through to Owen Flynn in the slots. Flynn sends it high and pass Markman for the first goal of the game. Braintree takes a 1-0 lead with 5.27 left in the first period. They take the face off, it's won by Braintree. Braintree trying to send it on ahead. A successful power play goal by the Braintree Womps gives them a 1-0 lead here in the first period. Brookline now controlling the puck. Bringing it on ahead and shooting from the blue line was number four, Rohan Gervais. Nothing doing as it was saved by Anderson. They're now battling for the puck in the corner. Recovered by Gervais, he sends a shot in. Might have been a little high, but regardless, stood up and saved by Anderson. We have another stoppage after the save and cover up by Anderson. Rohan Gervais with a couple of shot attempts. One from right at the blue line and uh, one after corralling the puck from that corner battle. Neither shot lands true. Brookline wins the faceoff. A uh, shot right off the faceoff, but it's uh, deflected. The love deflection by Anderson. So Brookline uh, trying to control it. It's down in the corner with number eight, Badger. And he loses it, and it's picked up by Braintree. That's number two. Attempts a shot and a blocker save, a uh, pad save, I should say, by Markman. Braintree. Fighting for it in the corner, picked up by Badger. He sends it around the boards and still controlled by Brookline. Passing it ahead, trying to maintain the attack. That looks to be number 16, Chin. He couldn't chase it down. And Brookline still trying to battle for it. It's picked up by Badger. He brings it across the blue line. A couple of defenders knock it away from him. But then another Brookline player picks it up, attempts a shot, saved by Anderson. Now Brookline facing a two-on-one as Braintree corrals it. Oh, but an errant pass from number 23 over to number 12. That was Kyle Mahoney over to Scott Lagos. They couldn't connect, and now Brookline takes control of the puck. Brookline gets it across mid-ice. It's now Badger with the puck. He crosses the blue line, tries to pass it over to Tian. Tian tries to send it inside. It's corralled by Braintree. Braintree now with the puck, but it's almost taken away. Passed on ahead, that is number 19, Brady Leslie. Brings it down the left side, brings it around the back. 
He passed it over at 12, and glove save by Markman off the shot from Braintree Scott Lagos. 3-11 left in this first period. A 1-0 lead still for Braintree after the goal by Owen Flynn on the power play off the assist from Matthew Duane. Braintree wins the faceoff, tries to launch a shot, but it's stopped by a defender. Braintree trying to get back in control. An attempted pass over to Flynn, but it knocks off his skate. Roach tries to corral it, but it gets away from him. But Braintree's still in control. And now Brookline takes it away. That's number four, Rohan Gervais. Brookline brings it down to the other end. They're trying to control it. An errant pass by Gurdon, taken away by Braintree. Braintree now on the attack. That's Brown who tries a shot. No good. Picked up by Flynn on the rebound. He sends it back to Roach. Roach goes around a couple players, pass it over to Flynn. Flynn sends it back. A shot saved by Markman. Off the shot by number 18, Jason Curley. Curley winds up again. Another save by Markman. And another wind up and, a, and another save by Markman. He's getting really busy on this possession. And finally, Markman blocks it in the corner of the net with some help from his defense. And he had about three or four saves on uh, that one cycle there. 2.07 left in the first. Braintree still leads 1-0. Gil Markman with a couple of nice stops there as Braintree fired off a flurry of shots. Most of them from deep, but still a nice group of saves by Markman. Braintree wins the faceoff. They try for another one. Another save by Markman. Puck rolls loose, and Markman covers. So Markman getting his work in in this first period. That's Gil Markman, the senior goalie for Brookline High. And we have another faceoff off the far faceoff circle. And Braintree nearly corrals it. That was Braintree's number nine that nearly chased down the puck. And they're still trying to get on the attack, but Brookline seems to have it under control. That is number 20, trying to pass it over to Badger. Can't chase it down. Braintree tried to recenter it, but it's controlled again by Brookline. Brookline trying to get it across mid-ice. But another battle for the puck. Braintree trying to corral it. They send it across the blue line into Brookline's zone. It's chased down by Brookline's number three, Eli Bach. And now Brookline passing it ahead. This is number 16. This is Timothy Aiden Chin. He's chased by defenders. They get him off balance. And now he got a battle on the boards for the puck. And a couple players down on the ice as they battle for the puck. And eventually it's controlled by Braintree. Pass goes ahead to Sarno, who gives it ahead to Roach. Roach trying to go around his defenders. And Roach still trying to control it. He's battling one-on-one -on -one against Brookline's number 13, Zach Cohen. He gets the puck out. An attempted shot by Braintree is blocked by the Brookline defenders. And now Brookline sending it on ahead. This is number 17. This is Tian. Tian trying to get through some defenders. Can't do it. Braintree now corrals it. Less than about 35 seconds left in the first period. Braintree with the puck. They try and send it ahead. Stopped by Brookline. Brookline loses the puck quickly, and now Braintree has it across the blue line. This is Sarno heading towards the net, but stopped by a defender, stopped by Tian. And now Gurdon against the boards with him trying to get the puck, but it's corralled by Braintree's number 19, Brady Leslie. He sends it out back behind the blue line. Braintree instead just launches it into Brookline's zone and changes the shift. Brookline with the puck in the corner, and that'll wind out the first period. So a 1-0 lead after one. Braintree takes the lead on a power play goal by Owen Flynn off the pass from Matthew Duane. Still a few nice saves by Brookline goalie Gil Markman. He was rather busy in that first period. I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan here at Walter Brown Arena in Boston, Massachusetts. Hello and welcome back to Walter Brown Arena in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm Jesse Mayfield Sheehan. We are now in the second period of this boys hockey game between Brookline and Braintree. Braintree now on the attack to try and chase down the puck and regroup. 
chased down by Aiden Shin on the defense. Braintree still corralling it. That's Owen Flynn, who had the game's only goal so far, getting across the blue line as Braintree leads 1-0. Brookline corrals it, and that's Bish, who tries to pass it ahead, gets to a teammate, but then they lose control. He passes it ahead, and the puck is lost. That was Timothy Aiden Shin, who was trying to push it forward. And now Braintree on a breakaway. Sarno with the shot, but it's saved by Markman. Now Brookline trying to push it forward. Gets to mid-ice. They can't. Braintree crawling it along near side. And now they regroup. Alex Roach with the puck for Braintree. Roach brings it on ahead. Across mid-ice, and he launches it into the Brookline zone. Braintree sends it around the boards. It's picked up by Zach Cohen, pushed ahead. Braintree gets control of it again. Brookline trying to push it through, and I think we have an offsides call against Braintree. So Braintree with a 1-0 lead here in the second period after a successful power play goal by Owen Flynn in the first period. Face off taken. Braintree corrals it. They send it into the Brookline zone. It's corralled by Eli Bach of Brookline. He sends it ahead. That is Rohan Gervais who sends it on ahead to Colin Finnegan. They lose the puck though and now Braintree with control. Finnegan tries to slam the guy into the boards. He gets the guy but misses the puck and now a loose puck picked up by Gervais sends it ahead to Finnegan. Finnegan tries to send it back to Hernandez. Corralled by Gervais but he loses it. Hernandez tried to chase after the puck but it's taken by Braintree. Braintree moving on ahead. Hernandez tracks it down at the uh, other end. Now Bach corrals it after a battle for the puck. Loose puck again. Brookline trying to get out of there, but they can't. Brook Braintree corrals it. Another shot saved by Markman. And now taken ahead by Brookline. A shot stopped by Anderson. That shot was made by Tian, Emmett Tian of Brookline. And now Braintree trying to get on the attack. The Brookline defense stops it. It's pushed ahead by number 22. That is Bennett Lindblom. And now Braintree launches it into the other end. Brookline trying to clear it. They can't. Braintree still on the attack. It's number 24 of Braintree. That's Tierney. He's trying to push it ahead. Backhander saved by Markman. For another battle for the puck, it ends up behind. And I think that's Tian who just tried to clear it. Weird ricochet. And it's picked up and pushed ahead, I believe, by Badger. Anderson takes it down at the back end and he sets it for a defender to push it ahead. Brookline pushes it back down to the Braintree end, but Braintree corrals it. They're starting to push it ahead. Goes down to the Brookline end. Chasing it down is Lindblom, but Braintree picks up the puck. Passed back. A nice look for Braintree, but it goes wide. Brookline trying to clear, but it only goes back to the blue line. Braintree has control of it, and now Brookline takes it away. An attempted pass up to Badger goes wide, and now it's taken by Braintree's Alex Roach. He tries to pass it ahead. Goes to the back end, and Zach Cohen gets a little tripped up as he tried to corral it, and Braintree trying to take control, but it's taken away. Braintree gets the puck back, but they're behind the blue line, so they have to reset. Roach with the puck. He dishes it ahead into the Brookline zone, and I think that was Chin trying to fight for the puck, couldn't get it. Now Braintree, an attempted shot saved by Markman. Braintree tried to go on the attack again. That's intercepted by Badger. He tries to push it ahead, but he's overpowered by Flynn, who sends it back in. Cohen takes the puck. He tries to send it on ahead. Chin swings to try and push it ahead, but misses. Braintree instead pushes it back into the Brookline end. Cohen chasing it down with Sarno behind him. Cohen pushes it over to the other side. Lindblom tries to corral it, but he's outnumbered. Braintree with the puck once again. Try to get a pass off. Intercepted by Badger. Badger trying to push it on ahead. He pushes it ahead to a teammate who pushes it ahead. That was Gervais who pushed it ahead, but now Braintree with control of it. Roach once again has the puck. He passes it over. And it's shot ahead by Braintree, but it's corralled by Cohen. He tries to pass it up ahead, but a bad bounce. It comes right back to him. The uh, puck is passed around, and now Braintree corrals it again. 
Braintree trying to move ahead. They get it past mid-ice, but a huge leveling check by number 11, Colin Finnegan, and it looks like he's going to be going into the penalty box for that. Bit too hard of a hit on Braintree's Scott Lagos. And so Colin Finnegan will be going to the penalty box for two minutes. The last time Brookline was on the penalty field, they almost made it out alive, but were uh, subject to a late goal by Owen Flynn off the pass from Matt Duane. So we'll see what happens in this power play. And the official is discussing something, and oh, that's Lagos is uh, heading back into the locker rooms. So. Hopefully nothing too bad there. He was able to walk off on his own power. Seems to just be in uh, protocol back there with the trainers to make sure he doesn't have a concussion. Always want to be safe. And we get ready for the face-off. Braintree corrals it. It's back to Roach. Roach passes it over to Mooney. Mooney passes it ahead to Leonard. Over to Dwayne. He tries a shot saved by Markman. The shot wasn't that hard. Corralled by Flynn. He passes it over to Leonard. Leonard back to Flynn. Flynn tries to force his way through. He gets it through. Saved by Markman. A rebound shot by Leonard. Save again by Markman. Flynn corrals it behind the net. Braintree still on the attack. He passes it over to Leonard. Leonard back to Mooney. Over to Roach. Roach tries to pass it. Deflected. But he, rec uh, he recovers it. Tries to send it into the box. Deflected once again. Flynn once again corrals it behind the net. Passes it over to Leonard. Over to Mooney. To Leonard, then over to Flynn. Flynn back to Leonard. He almost had the opening, but he couldn't get a clean shot, and it goes wide. Battle for the puck, and it ends up with Dwayne. Dwayne trying to force his way through, loses the puck. Leonard tried to recover, nothing doing, and Brookline still trying to clear it. And oh, we've got an intercepted pass on the back end. And that's Gervais who pushed it on ahead. He even managed to push it over to the net, but stopped easily by Anderson. And now Braintree back on the attack after a change in shift for both sides. It's corralled in the back by Vish, and he clears it for Brookline. That's Ellis Vish with the clear. And now Braintree resets. Trying to bring it across. They get around two Brookline players. And Roach gets across the blue line. He's on the attack. Goes around the back. Looking for a passing option. He passes it inside. That's number 19, that's Leslie. Leslie pushes it back out to Sarno, back to Roach. Inside to Leslie, back out to Sarno. Sarno sends it back to Roach at the top. Roach passes it back over to Sarno. He has a little difficulty, but corrals it. And three, two, one, zero. And finally a save by Markman and a cover up by Markman off a long shot and Brookline survives this power play unscathed. 7.39 to go in the second period here. Braintree still leads 1-0, courtesy of one power play goal by Flynn, but neither Flynn nor any of the power play unit for Braintree could score on that one as the penalty expires. Face off in the Brookline zone. Brookline trying to clear it out, but it's picked up by Braintree. Either a shot or a pass, either way it went wide of the net. And Brookline manages to corral it. It's pushed ahead to Badger. Badger crosses the blue line, but loses the puck to a couple of defenders. He was outnumbered there. It's pushed ahead once again, this time by Vish. And Braintree corrals it in their own zone. Braintree now in control of the puck. They try and bring it across. They get across the blue line. A shot saved by Markman, and he covers up again. That was a shot by Braintree's Matt Hemmert. But it went straight into the body of Markman, who covers up, and we have another face-off back in the Brookline zone. 7.08 to go in the second period, still 1-0 Braintree. Puck is dropped, a battle at the face-off. No one has control of it yet, but it's pushed ahead and it's taken by Brookline. I believe that's Tian, who's trying to push it on ahead. It goes to Anderson, and he covers up. So Tien pushes it into the Braintree zone, but then Braintree goalie Dylan Anderson covers up, and we got a faceoff this time in the Braintree zone. A nice lift by Mian to get around every, to get over everybody, I should say. And we got another faceoff. Battle for the faceoff. It's pushed back, and it looks like we might have another penalty call.
Let's see who this one's against. This one's going to be against Braintree. So Brookline will be on the power play for the first time, as I believe that's a penalty. Yes, number eight, Nolan Leonard of Braintree. We'll be going into the box for two minutes, 6.52 left in the second period. Brookline trailing one to nothing, and they get their first shot at the power play. And so it'll be Finnegan taking the face off for Brookline as they start the power play. Hernandez on his left, and Gervais on his right. The face off, the battle for the puck. Hernandez corrals it. He sends it back out to Cohen. Cohen slap shot wide. And the puck is corralled by Finnegan after it bounces around the boards. But he tries to pass it ahead, and it's corralled by Braintree. They try and clear it. Bounces off the ref. Cohen tracks it down. Cohen trying to reset for Brookline. Looking for a passing option. He passes it ahead. It's cleared to the other side to Finnegan. Bounces off him. And corralled by Gervais, who sends it back to Cohen. Cohen sends it ahead to Hernandez. Hernandez tries to bring it across the blue line. He shoots it inside to the Braintree zone. Braintree corrals it. They try and clear. It gets behind the blue line, but corralled by Cohen. He passes it over, and it's sent into the zone by Bach. But it's corralled again by Braintree, and we've got a whistle. And I think they called icing against Brookline. Not what you want to do during a power play, but now we've got a face-off in the Braintree zone after that. As they get ready for another face-off. And another battle for the puck in the face-off circle. And it's picked up by Brookline. Pushed ahead by... And it's pushed over to, I believe, Hernandez. The shot goes wide after being deflected. Braintree trying to chase down the puck as it goes bounces past. It's picked up by Braintree. A shot by number 19 with some harsh defense behind him by Vish. That was Vish on the defense. The Braintree fans were hoping for a call there, but it didn't come. And the shot went wide as a result. That shot from Leslie. Now Brookline trying to get on the attack once again. Badger with the puck in the corner. He's battling for it. He tries to corral it. Now he's looking for a passing option. He sends it back to Vish along the blue line. Vish tries to send it inside. Bounces away from Gurdon, though, and goes to Braintree. Braintree now trying to clear. They can't get it past the blue line, except now they can. Picked up by Vish behind the blue line, and he's trying to reset for Brookline. 11 seconds left on the power play. He sends it over to Chin. Chin sends it into the Braintree zone. Picked up easily by Braintree, and that's Roach, who's now getting around Badger. He's going on the attack now as the power play ends. Roach over into the Brookline zone with the puck. He just skates around the back, but he's double teamed, and it's picked up by Brookline. Passed over to Finnegan. Finnegan now trying to bring it across mid-ice. The power play is now over. He passes it, tries to center it to Hernandez, and Hernandez is outnumbered. And we've got another whistle. And this one's going to be against Roach. Alex Roach of Braintree with the penalty. He'll be in the box for two minutes, so virtually back-to-back -back power plays for Brookline. With 4.35 remaining in the second period, Braintree still leads one to nothing. And Finnegan once again going for the faceoff. Hernandez on his left, Gervais on his right. But Braintree wins the faceoff. It's corralled by Mooney. He tries to clear it, swings and misses though. But then he picks it up and clears it. It's tracked down by Eli Bach of Brookline. Bach looking for a pass. He sends it over to Cohen on the opposite side. Cohen brings it around behind the net. He tries to pass it ahead to Finnegan, but it gets away from him. And a long slap shot by Mooney from behind the blue line, stopped by Markman. Now after a battle on the boards, it's picked up by Bach. He sends it over to Cohen. Cohen loses track of it, and it's picked up by Finnegan. Finnegan taps it back to Cohen. Cohen trying to get around his defender. He taps it ahead to Finnegan. Finnegan corrals it. Finnegan over to Bach. Bach tries to send it ahead, but it's deflected by Owen Flynn, and it goes over the boards. So that'll be a dead puck with 120 left in the power play and 355 left in the period. And face off, and it's won by Braintree, and they send it ahead into the box, and Markman will simply cover up after a dangerous push into the Brookline zone off the face off by Braintree's number nine, Tim McLaughlin. So we have a face-off in the Brookline zone. 
114 to go in the power play. Braintree controls the faceoff, and now they're almost on the attack, but it's taken away from Mooney by Grayson Badger. Badger with some help from Chin. Corrals the puck, and he brings it across the blue line. Badger now holding it, looking for a passing option. He passes it inside, and they try to center it, but nothing doing. An attempted center pass by Brookline's number five, Stephen McDougal. And now Brookline gets control of it back. And that's Gurdon with the puck. He passes it over to Vish. Vish comes around the back, trying to reset. He passes it ahead, but it gets away from Chin. Badger tries to corral it. Can't, but Chin puts it ahead. Now Badger has it. He shoots wide, just wide of the net. Badger corrals it around the back. And Braintree manages to clear it past the blue line. And now they're trying to chase it down. Vish tries to get it back, but picked up again by number nine, McLaughlin. He tries a shot, but it's deflected away by Markman. It's sent ahead, and now Badger crosses the blue line. Slap shot, glove save by Anderson. And he doesn't cover up. He just gives it to one of his defenders. Braintree clears it over to the Brookline end. It's picked up by Cohen, and the power play ends as Cohen sends it ahead to Finnegan. Finnegan crosses the blue line. Finnegan going to the right. He tries to center it, but it's deflected by Leslie. Braintree tries to clear it out, but only gets to the blue line. And Brookline tries to send it in. That was a send in from Bach. Goes around the boards. Braintree still trying to clear it. Intercepted just past the blue line by Cohen. Cohen brings it across the blue line. It's knocked away, but it's picked up by Gervais. Gervais attempts a shot. Knocked away by Anderson. Braintree now corralling the puck. And this is number 24, Tierney of Brooklyn, of Braintree, rather, on the attack. Shot saved by Markman. Rebound corralled by Leslie. And now Brookline trying to chase it down, trying to get it away from them, but now it's passed around. It gets to Alex Roach. He fakes his shot to get the sliding defender away, and he sends a shot in. Saved by Markman, but a loose puck after the save. A battle just outside of the net, but it's eventually corralled by Brookline. Clear attempt made by Bach, and it successfully goes all the way down, bouncing off the ice, uh, bouncing off the boards, rather, down to the brain tree end. Picked up by Roach. Roach sends it on ahead to... Hemmert. Hemmert chasing it down. Meets some defenders and eventually Brookline takes control. I believe that is Vish with the pass. He sends it up ahead. I think that is Finnegan. Finnegan with a shot stopped by Anderson. A uh, shot from behind the blue line. And my mistake, that was Tian, not Finnegan. Now Gurdon with the puck as he corrals it after Braintree attempts to clear it. And he sends it into the Braintree zone. Roach trying to clear it around the boards. Picked up by number 20, Jasper Reed. He tries to send it in, but it's blocked by Braintree. Now chasing it down is McDougal. McDougal couldn't chase it down. He was outpaced by the Braintree players. Braintree now back on the attack. Roach with the puck once again. Roach sends in a shot, but it's deflected by Hemmert away from the goal. Braintree recovers the offensive rebound. Roach with a pass. Shot wide. Roach recovers it again. His shot deflected this time. By Brookline's number 23, that is Marcus Pius. Brookline pushes it again. McDougal tries to rally it from the air, but he can't. Braintree sends it out to clear. Recovered by Bach. Bach sends it ahead to flex off Badger. Then Meehan tries to push it into the zone. Roach chases it down. And that will bring an end to the second period. So Brookline gets a couple of uh, attack opportunities thanks to a couple of power plays, but nothing doing. The defense manages to hold, thanks in no small part to some goal-keeping efforts from Gil Markman. Score is still 1-0 in favor of Braintree. I am Jesse mayfield Chan here at Walter Brown Arena. Braintree leads Brookline 1-0 and I will be right back. Hello and welcome back to Walter Brown Arena in Boston, Massachusetts. My name is Jesse mayfield Chan. We are now in the third period of a high school boys hockey game between the Brookline High Warriors and the Braintree High Womps. Braintree leads 1-0 off a first period power play goal by Owen Flynn. And now we're here in the third period where icing has just been called on Brookline after an attempted clear went too far. So now in the third period, uh, the second period saw some additional attack attempts by Brookline thanks to back-to-back -back power plays. Nothing came of it. And now we get ready for the face-off in the Brookline end. Faceoff is corralled by Brookline, but then lost it. Braintree tried to get it back. 
And now from the Battle of the Puck, it ultimately goes to the other end and picked up by Timothy Aiden Chin in Brookline. He pushes it ahead. Through some defenders, but now Braintree corrals it. That's Sarno for Braintree trying to push it ahead. Gives it to Leslie, who passes it back to Sarno. Then over to number two, Cam Partisan. Braintree attempts the attack, but it looks like uh, Chris Sarno of Braintree might have been tipped as he was attempting to receive a pass from Scott Lagos. And they'll be sending what appears to be Brookline's, ah, Brookline's Grayson Badger. We'll be going to the penalty box for two minutes. Braintree so far one for two on the power play so far today with the lo game's lone goal coming off one. And they corral the face off. An attempted shot from deep by Alex Roach goes as uh, deflected. Corralled by Nolan Leonard. Sent back to Cam Mooney. Back to Leonard. Leonard tries to send it in. It's blocked by goalie Gil Markman. And after a battle... Following the rebound, it's ultimately covered up by Brookline, and we get a stoppage. The Brookline side excited by the hustle from the defensive side. Markman getting a little help from his defenders, Eli Bach and Jasper Reed on that one. A scary uh, rebound there as the ball, uh, puck rather, almost squirted out of Markman's control and into the net, but they managed to lie down on it and prevent the goal. 1.43 remaining in the power play. Let's go for another face-off. Corralled by Braintree once again. Roach with the puck. He tries to send it inside. Deflected, almost deflected in, but sent away by Markman. Now it's corralled by Braintree. Leonard sends it in to Owen Flynn. Owen Flynn sends it back to Leonard. Leonard trying to go around the back. And we got a whistle as the net was pushed out of its place. That's a dead puck and we'll be going back to the face-off. So Braintree winning the first two face-offs of this power play, giving them some pretty easy attack opportunities as we go for another face-off, and once again, Braintree pushes it back. Leonard with some really good face-offs early on. Roach passes it over to Mooney, and Mooney tries to send it inside, but it's stopped and then cleared by Brookline. It goes around the back, picked up by Roach. He sends it ahead. And now Braintree trying to go on the attack. Picked up by Mooney. Mooney crosses the blue line. Mooney gets around a defender. He goes around the back. He passes it all the way back to Roach near the blue line. Roach sends it ahead to Leonard. Leonard sends it up to Flynn. Flynn skates back and then passes it back to Roach. Roach passes it over to Flynn. Flynn looking for a shot opportunity. His shot goes wide. Picked up by Mooney. Mooney passes it across to Roach. Roach passes it up ahead to Leonard. Leonard has the puck poked away from him, but it's picked up by Flynn. Flynn gives it over to Leonard. Leonard with the shot. It goes wide. Defended by Jacob Gurdon. I think he might have gotten his stick on Leonard's stick for that shot and sent it away. But once again, Brinchy corrals it. Leonard with another attempted shot. Saved by Markman. A shot by Mooney. Goes wide. Rebound picked up by Roach. Roach goes to the center at the blue line. Tries a shot deflected. Rebound picked up by Leonard. Leonard in the corner. He passes it back to Roach. Roach tries to send in another shot. It goes wide again. Scramble for the rebound, and eventually after deflection, Leonard picks it up, but the, he's checked and loses the puck. Brookline tries to clear it. Can't do it. Picked up by Roach. Roach tries to send in a pass. A hard check against number seven, Matt Duane, by one of the Brookline defenders. Braintree looking for a call. Didn't get it. Braintree still in the attack. Roach sends it inside. It goes off a Flynn stick and high. It's crowd by Brookline. Zach Cohen. His attempt to clear is deflected, but then it's picked up, I believe, by what appears to be Rohan Gervais and his successful clear, and the power play ends. Braintree now coming on the attack. Alex Roach once again taking it himself across the blue line. He passes. Shot. Save by Markman. It may have been deflected by a defender. Jasper Reed was on the defense there as number nine, Tim McLaughlin, had a really good look at the net there, but nothing doing for Braintree. And now Brookline corrals it after a battle for the puck. Reed sends it on ahead. And now after another pass, it's Grayson Badger. Badger sends in a weak shot and nothing doing, except, nope, that wasn't Badger. That was number nine, Ellis Vish. Brookline still with the puck. 
Reeves got it at the back. He tries to send it inside, deflected by a defender. Picked up by Partizan for Braintree. Partizan brings it across the blue line. He's trying to go by himself, but he cannot get around Eli Bach. His attempted pass inside is deflected. He's still trying to control it. He brings the puck back. He's pinned against the boards by Bach. Puck goes back behind the blue line. Braintree tries to send it inside, but Jasper Reed recovers it, and he clears it. But clears it too far, and that's icing. Credit where credit is due, the Brookline defense, that one goal in the first period aside, has done a good job of uh, turning away a higher division team, holding holding them to a single goal thus far. And we have a face-off in the Brookline end. Puck about to be dropped. Battle for the puck, and it's corralled by Brookline. Now bringing it on ahead is Pius, but he loses the puck. Braintree corrals it. Alex Roach again with the puck. Tries to bounce it off the boards ahead to a teammate, but it gets away from everyone, and then corralled by Brookline. Brookline sends it on ahead, and we've got a whistle. Now it's cleared ahead by Jacob Gurton. We've got a whistle from the officials. And the play was blown dead. And we'll have a face-off just ahead of the blue line on the Brookline end. Face-off is almost corralled by Brookline, but then instead it's chased down by Brady Leslie of Braintree. Colin Finnegan of Brookline taps the puck around the, end, the back end prowled by Braintree, and a shot is attempted by Scott Lagos after recovering the loose puck, but it's stopped once again by Gil Markman. 9.55 left to go in the game. Braintree still leads 1-0. Both defenses have been holding strong. Braintree's been on the majority of the offensive pushes. Face-off drop inside the Brookline zone. Far face-off circle. And Brookline, Brookline's Colin Finnegan turned away from the faceoff, and instead it is taken by Rohan Gervais. Braintree corrals the faceoff, but an attempted center pass misses when attempted for Matt Duane. Brookline pushes it ahead, but Braintree takes it away in their own zone. Pushed ahead, now it's Matt Duane crossing the blue line, defended, and it's pushed away and recovered by Brookline. Cleared ahead by Eli Bach, and now Timothy Aiden Chin. Brings it down to the other end, takes a shot from just beyond the face-off circle, stopped by Dylan Anderson of Braintree. We'll get a face-off in the Braintree end this time. After a nice push ahead by defender Eli Bach and an attempted slap shot by Timothy Aiden Shin. Face-off is controlled by Brookline, sent back to Gurdon, but the pass across is intercepted. That's uh, Michael Tierney of Braintree. He brings it down the end, attempts a shot, no good. Saved by Markman. Braintree controls the rebound. Send it back. Sending it back in. Controlled by Tierney. Tierney up against the boards with a couple of Brookline players. Trying to take the puck away. An attempted pass is deflected. Braintree still in control, but they've lost the puck now. And Zach Cohen sends it on ahead. Hernandez bounces it ahead again, and now it's Grayson Badger with the puck. In the Braintree end, he passes it back to Zach Cohen, who tried to get it. He tried to push it in before it crossed the blue line, but he couldn't. And so the next time a Brookline player touched it, it was called for offsides. Just slightly mistimed that pass back from Badger to Cohen. Cohen couldn't get up to the blue line fast enough. He tried to launch it in from the blue line, but it was just behind it and an offsides call. Face off, one by Brookline. Box sends it into the Braintree zone. Braintree corrals it. They try and clear, but it's picked up by Brookline, but then taken away by Braintree. Braintree trying to push it on ahead. Gets through a few defenders. Braintree on the attack now. Shot goes wide. Braintree still corrals it. They try and send in a center pass. Sarno corrals it. Taps it over to Leslie, but Leslie can't keep control, and now Eli Bach is trying to fight to get the puck away. Braintree remains in control. They send it back to the blue line and then send it up ahead to Sarno. Sarno passes over to Lagos. Lagos tries to pass it, but there's nobody there. 
Brookline takes it under control, but it bounces away from Chin. Braintree sends it back into the Brookline zone, but there's no one there, so Brookline corrals it. Jasper Reed tries to send it on ahead. Gets it past the blue line, a little past mid-ice, but it's corralled by Alex Roach of Braintree. Tries to push it ahead, but during a shift change, it's taken away by Brookline. Tian trying to control it. He couldn't quite corral it, but he pushes it ahead where it's grabbed by Braintree. Now Braintree tries to push ahead. Too far, icing. 7.41 is what's left on the clock here. As the icing call brings the faceoff over to the Brookline zone. And we have another shift change in between the faceoff. Taking the faceoff appears to be Ellis Fish. Well, the faceoff is won by Braintree for a second by McLaughlin, but then Brookline pushes it away and pushes it back into the Brookline zone. Picked up by uh, Braintree. They tried to clear it, but Chris Hernandez of Brookline took it away, pushed it on ahead. Now Brookline on the attack. But a loose puck gets away, taken by Braintree, pushed away at mid-ice. Braintree continues to push it ahead. And now Braintree has it in their own zone, but... It looks like they might have been called for offsides. Yes, it appears Braintree may have rushed across through due to all the puck deflections. Or, no, the faceoff is going to be in the Brookline end, so that must have been icing. Not often you see uh, icing from that close to the blue line, but it happens, I guess. Faceoff goes to the Braintree net, but deflected by Anderson. Now Braintree in control. Temmert. Passes it over to Partisan, who passes it over to number nine, McLaughlin. McLaughlin sends it down for Partisan. Partisan tries to control it, taken away by Zach Cohen. Zach Cohen pushes it ahead, but Rohan Gervais can't get control of it. It's centered to Temmert. Shot saved by Markman. It's scooted away, but then cleared out. I believe that was Cohen who cleared it out. The puck continues to roll across the ice, and they're going to call icing. A nice save by Gil Markman off the shot by Matt Hemmert. Hemmert, I mistakenly got his last name on that one, I think. But a nice save by Markman, and then after it just squirted out, Zach Cohen with the heads-up defensive play to clear the puck away, although he was called for icing. Face-off now in the Braintree zone, 6.40 to go. And face-off is won by Ellis Vish, but then he's outpaced by McLaughlin. McLaughlin chases down the puck, Brookline trying to battle, and we've got a whistle. McLaughlin was battling for the puck with Eli Bach. Other players were starting to come to battle for it, but the officials whistled it dead. So now we have another faceoff in the Brookline end. It's won by Brookline. Eli Bach tries to get the puck, but it's taken away by Owen Flynn. Another battle across the boards between Flynn and Fish. And then another battle between Jasper Reed and Matt Duane. Duane gets it, tries to center it for Nolan Leonard, but Leonard's shot is deflected high. Braintree still with the puck. Leonard corrals it. He tries to center the pass, but it's deflected away by Vish. Picked up by Dwayne. Dwayne trying to bring it around the back end, but he's being chased by both Vish and Reed. They've pinned him against the boards, battling for the puck. Two players down to the ice, but it's taken away by Leonard. Leonard passes it back. It's passed on ahead, tried for Leonard again, but this time it goes to Reed. Reed tries to clear it. Gets it past the blue line, but Braintree recovers. They try to send it in. It's corralled by Reed once again. And now it's being chased down. It's over in the Braintree end. Chris Hernandez tries to corral, but he's outnumbered. Braintree takes it. That's Nolan Leonard, who tries to pass, and somebody lost their stick there. Braintree corrals it. They pass it around the their end boards. Taken by Dwayne. Dwayne tries to pass. It's, take, it's uh, deflected away. I think that was Gurdon. Nope, my mistake. That was number 19, Caleb Weldon. Battle for the puck, mid-ice. Cleared ahead by Hernandez. And that might be another icing call. Hernandez was trying to get the puck away during a shift change. Just overshot it, and we have an icing call. Once again, we're back in the Brookline end with 5.07 remaining in this one-goal interdivisional game. Face off. Battle for the puck. It's corralled by Brady Leslie of Braintree. He brings it around the back end. 
Leslie being chased down by Jacob Gurdon. Puck goes to, oh, the puck goes to Scott Lagos, who then centers it for Brady Leslie, who wrists it past Gil Markman for the second goal of the day. Some nice passing work by Braintree, and then a nice shot by Brady Leslie. Gives Braintree the second goal of the game. 4.56 to go. And Braintree extends the lead to 2 to nothing over Brookline. Face off at center ice. Pushed ahead by Braintree. Still pushed ahead again. This is Partizan. Tries to shoot on the breakaway. Stopped by Markman. Sarno tried to pick up the rebound, but his push goes wide as he was well defended. Now Brookline has taken the puck away. That's Gervais passing it over to Timothy Aiden Chin. He crossed the blue line. Tries to send a shot. Saved by Dylan Anderson. Picked up by Braintree, but then they couldn't clear it. Brookline still trying to push the attack. Alex Roach tries to push it ahead. Braintree trying to get it ahead. They get it past the blue line. Brookline tries to push it ahead again, but it's corralled by Braintree. Braintree trying to bring it past. That's Alex Roach with the puck. He gets triple teamed. He's looking for a trip call there, but he didn't get it. Jasper Reed pushes it ahead for Rohan Gervais. Ro Gervais brings it across the blue line, but it's poked away. Sarno tried to clear it, but he swung and missed. Hernandez pushes it past the blue line. And then Batcher chases down. Gets No, I think that was Vish. Passed it over to Hernandez. They push it ahead. Braintree tries to clear it. Weird bounce, and it winds up with Braintree. Cam Mooney trying to skate fast, but his shot is deflected by a Brookline defender, and it misses. Brookline now on the push. That's Grayson Badger bringing it across the blue line. He pushes it back to Zach Cohen. Zach Cohen pushes it back into Badger. Badger tries to bring it around. He's being chased. He's now double teamed. Braintree gets it past, clears it past the blue line after they get it away from Badger, but it's tracked down by Brookline. Jacob Gurdon gets the puck, passes it across the other side to Cohen. Cohen tries to pass it ahead, but misses his target. Braintree trying to clear the blue line. You get the puck past mid-ice. Brookline tries to get back on the attack. Loose puck now. And we've got a whistle. 3.03 left in this game. And a goal by Brady Leslie uh, of Braintree in this period. Assisted by Scott Lagos. Makes it 2-0 in favor of the Wamps. Big goal by Braintree there. As Brookline wins the faceoff, Jasper Reed corrals it. He tries to push it ahead to Timothy Aiden Chin, but it gets away from him. Braintree defender tracks it down, pushes it ahead. Now controlled by Matt Duane. He brings it across the blue line, sends it down to the end boards. The Brookline defenders try and chase it down, and then Markman dives on it after the buck gets dangerously loose in front of the net. He just leaped on it and caused the dead puck. Markman has made a few heads-up plays today in the net. He couldn't stop that most recent shot by Leslie, but he has made a few heads-up plays in the net regardless. Faceoff coming in the Brookline end. Official adjusting the, uh, the wings on each end, making sure they're properly separated. Faceoff comes. A battle for the ice, and Colin Finnegan pushes down one of the Braintree players, and this might be another penalty. No. It's going down to the Brookline end. Not sure quite what the call was there. It was already in the Brookline zone, so it couldn't have been icing, and no one seems to be uh, going to the penalty box. Maybe it's a lay of game call. I'm not sure, but either way, face off in the Brookline zone. Puck's now loose. Finnegan corrals it. Shot goes wide. Now Braintree corrals it, trying to clear. Dwayne tried to corral it, but he slipped and fell. But now it's been pushed ahead. That's Nolan Leonard. Leonard trying to find an opening. He centers it for Flynn, but there were too many defenders. And the pass gets away from him. Alex Roach now with the puck. He's trying to skate around. Taken away by Brookline. They try and push it ahead, but it's corralled by Leonard. Pushed back to Dwayne. Dwayne with the puck. He pushes it back. Pushed back ahead to Dwayne. Two Brookline defenders trying to get it out. Still can't clear. That's Owen Flynn. He tries to send it inside. Nothing doing. Jacob Gurdon on the defense there. Puck is taken away. Zach Cohen tries to clear it. Doesn't get a good bounce. A shot sent in, but deflected. Now another battle for a loose puck. 
Dwayne tries to send in a shot. It's wide and also caught in the glove of Markman for another dead puck. 144 to go in this two-goal game, and we may see the goalie be pulled soon as Brookline is running out of time to catch up to Braintree in this Saturday afternoon game at Walter Brown Arena. The officials prepare for the face-off. It's taken. Loose puck. And it's tracked down by Tim McLaughlin. He taps it away and then Partisan tracks down. Passed back to Alex Roach who takes the shot from the blue line but it's stopped by Ellis Vish. Brookline trying to corral and trying to get it out of there. Pushed on ahead. Corralled by Cam Mooney of Braintree. And Badger tried to push it away, but he couldn't quite. And now Braintree has the puck again. Hammer pushes it over to McLaughlin. He tried the shot saved by Markman. And I think we're going to get a whistle for pushing away the net. Indeed, that is what the call is. Some Braintree fans were looking for the penalty call for some perhaps too hard defense by the Brookline players on that push. But no call. Clean defense. And it looks like we've got a timeout by Brookline with 1.12 left to go in the period. Probably planning about what they'll do on the attack as they try and get back in this game. Perhaps pull Markman from the net to try and get an extra skater out there. 2-0 the score. Braintree leads courtesy of a first period goal by Owen Flynn off the pass from Matt Duane. And courtesy of a third period goal scored by Brady Leslie off the assist from Scott Lagos. One minute, 12 seconds left here at Walter Brown Arena in this interdivisional game between Division II Brookline High Warriors and the Division I Braintree High Womps. And the timeout has been whistled over as Coach Mike Yanovich was trying to looks like he might have been trying to drop a play on his whiteboard for his players and after the whistle they take a few extra seconds just to get over those last points and we'll be taking a face off just beyond the blue line in the Brookline end face off is taken corralled by Brookline that's Zach Cohen he tries to push it ahead but he can't get it past Braintree Braintree now with the puck I think that is Leslie trying to push ahead. He pushes through a couple of defenders. Pushes through Vish. Pushes it through another defender. And now after a loose puck, it's picked up by Sarno. Less than a minute to go. And Braintree is just corralling it in the Brookline end. Brookline can't even get on the attack. Now Leslie gets the puck after it's corrals around the back end. He tries to pass it over to Lagos. Lagos is being chased by a few Brookline defenders. And finally, it's taken away. I believe that's Vish who has the puck. My mistake, that's Grayson Badger. He brings it across the blue line. He skates through a few defenders, but he loses track of the puck. Taken away and cleared by Braintree. Net is empty for Brookline, but the clear by Braintree goes wide of the net and is an icing. 23.5 ticks left in this game. Braintree still leads 2 to nothing. Brookline trying to make something happen and get on the board. They've now finally got it in the Braintree end after spending some costly minutes in their own end. Costly seconds, I should say, as it's this close down uh, to the end of the game here. And we take a face-off here in the Braintree end. Brookline corrals it, looking for a chance to attack. The pass over to Jacob Gurdon. He passes it down inside. Lost control of the puck. A slap shot taken and stopped by Braintree. I believe that was Ellis Vish with the last attempted shot. It's been pinned in the corner. Braintree trying to clear it ahead. Gurdon tries to get the puck away from them. It's corralled by Badger, but he loses it. And time expires. Final score of this game. The Braintree Womps 2. The Brookline Warriors 0. The Warriors suffered their first loss of the season. Fall to 1-1 one and one so far on the year. A hard-fought game against a higher division opponent. Props to Gil Markman and the defense for some valiant efforts throughout the game in a contest that was dominated on the possession end by Braintree. Brookline had a few attempts at the attack but couldn't quite get it together. Final score, 2 to nothing. First period, 
The only goal came from Braintree's Owen Flynn off a pass from Matthew Duane on, toward, on the tail end of a power play. Second period, no score from either side. Third period, a score by Brady Leslie off the pass from Scott Lagos to make it 2 nothing. And no scores from Brookline. They could not get back in this one. Final score, Braintree 2, Brookline 0. Hello again. I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan here at Walter Brown Arena in Boston, Massachusetts, uh, where Brookline Warriors uh, fell 2 to nothing to the Braintree Womps today. I'm here with Brookline coach Mike Yanovich. Mike, uh, you know, obviously not the result you want, but playing against an older team, a higher division team, and you guys were right with them through most of that game. Yeah, so we've been building uh, for a few years now, and, um, you know, we knew coming in we had a tall task and that we had to step up. And, um, you know, Braintree played well, but, um, you know, we have some talent in and we are building. I think we. I think we took a step forward today, even though it was a loss. So it's a it's a positive. We don't like to lose, but at the same time, it is a positive moving this team forward. So, Absolutely. And uh, definitely the highlight of a game like this has to be the defense. Gil Markman with some valiant efforts in the net. And the defenders backing him up. I mean, for me, the biggest play of the game for you guys, that one Markman stops a point-blank shot, and then the puck squirts out. Zach Cohen notices, and... Heads up clear. It ultimately ended in icing, but that, that's a heads up defensive play, and we saw a number of those throughout this game. Yeah, we were lucky. Uh, Gil Markman was a transfer uh, this year uh, after losing our top goalie last year uh, at the end of the season, and uh, the kid's been great. He's a great kid, uh, great goalie, great athlete, and he just kind of you know fits into the, the whole program here, what we're trying to do with building a team and, and move forward as hockey players and as you know individuals. So. And I will say the one thing that really stood out to me in terms of the difference, Alex Roach for Braintree, his ability to take that puck from the Braintree end over to your end by himself, I mean, that's just unfair. I mean, that just makes the transition game easier, which makes the possession game easier, which ultimately makes the game easier. I mean, how hard is it to handle some, a guy like that? Yeah, um, you know, Coach Fasano has always had those players. In the years past, he's had two or three of those players that could go end-to-end -end and move the puck to the openings. But it is it is a challenge. Um, you know, coming back on defense when we're, uh, you know, an offensive-oriented team, to try to challenge a player like that, things have to change. Um, you know, it just comes down to moving your feet and having the confidence to slow that guy down. It doesn't have to be a hit. doesn't have to be a huge play. Uh, our guys will learn. You know, it's just getting in the lane and stopping the momentum is what we have to start learning. So. So one of the things I, I myself said before the beginning of this game, when you've got a young team going against a, a more experienced, higher division program that's well established, as you were saying before, one of the great things, not only the ability to work on your skills, but also get a look at what a really well established program looks like. You know, do you think this was one of those games, and what do you think the team takes away from it as you guys continue to build? Um, you know, we talked about it. It's really the little things. I think, um, you know, our talent is there. Um, you know, we definitely have young talent. We have some new talent on the team, but it comes down to the little things. Um, you know, equaling, equaling the effort, equaling the heart on the ice, moving your feet, uh, being in the area, and just being puck hungry. Um, so you could, you know, hockey's a unique sport where you can take uh, a lesser, a lesser team, and if you're putting in twice the effort of the more talented team, uh, you can best them on any night. So it's just the little things we got to work on. And I think we'll be in a good spot, uh, you know, come mid-season. Well, you started out, you got the win against Quincy a couple uh, a couple days ago. You got the loss to Braintree today, one and one. Tell the fans what's next on the schedule for the Warriors. So we're on a bit of a road trip. We have um, we head down to Middleborough, which is a non-league game against a Division Three team. Uh, we have a uh, crosstown uh, rival, uh, Newton North. Um, and we have two games in Vermont coming up. So we have a bit of a road trip. Um, all games that we should be in and that we should... Uh, you know, grab two points from, so it'd be nice to get in there and uh, pull points out of, out of all these road games. Right, excellent. Coach, any final words for today? No, we just appreciate uh, we've had some great support uh, through the years. People have stayed with us. Uh, we haven't necessarily arrived at the rink every year, uh, ready to go, but uh, we have a hockey team now instead of just a bunch of kids that play hockey, and we're looking forward to some great hockey this year. Coach, thanks for a great plate game today, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys again after that long road trip. Great. Fans will be back to welcome you. Thank you have you. a good one, Coach. All right, thank you. Thank you.
That was Coach Mike Yanovich of the Brookline High boys hockey team following a 2-0 loss to Braintree. I'm Jesse Mayfield-Sheehan here at Walter Brown Arena. Thank you, everyone, for listening.